channel today is day five of my 25 days of christmas and we're going to be making a super chunky easy um, fold over beanie so you're going to need two skeins of yarn of the same color i'm using the big twist value yarn in the color toffee and it is like the perfect like caramel brown color so i'm super excited for this one and I'm going to be using a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. So to start, go ahead and pull out the centers of both of your skeins. And we are going to be working with both strands, as I mentioned, just to make it a lot chunkier than if you were to just use one. And it also works up really quickly. Um, if I had to guess, I would say this took me about 45 minutes to make, um, which isn't really bad. It's a cute gift idea, even if you wanted to just make one for yourself to keep you warm during holiday season. And even after holiday season in like January, February, when it gets really cold, this is a really great make. You can make it in so many fun colors, neutrals, or like if you want a pop of color, that would also be really pretty. So go ahead and get your skeins ready. Hopefully they don't come out like mine where this big old blob comes out from the center. Um, but we are going to go ahead and take our two strands and tie them onto our crochet hook. And we are going to start off by chaining 30, um, just chaining 30. I did start off with 40 because that's what I usually do when I'm doing this kind of beanie because um, I do like a fold over, but I didn't realize how much extra thick it was going to be with the double strands. So 40 was just way too long for the beanie. It was just a ridiculous size. So just go ahead and chain 30 and then we will meet back here. So now that we have 30 chains, we are going to go ahead and just work half double crochets into each chain. So if you don't know how to half double crochet, it's a really easy stitch. It works up really well. It's in between a single and double crochet and it just adds a really good thickness. Um, and it's kind of like a puffier stitch than a single crochet. It's not as flat. 
So you want to half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then all the way to the last chain. So this is what your first row finish should look like. The stitches are nice and fluffy, especially with the two strands versus one. So go ahead and continue um, half double crocheting for a total of 32 rows. So you'll just turn your work and half, um, half double crochet back to the end of the row. And this is the size it'll be roughly um, once we do the fold over. So let's come back after the 32 rows of half double crochets. So now that we have completed the 32 rows of half double crochets, we are going to fold the beanie over and slip stitch closed. And just as a tip, make sure that you are choosing which side you like to be the outside of your beanie because you'll want to slip stitch on the, um, the wrong side. You don't want the right side because we're going to fold it back over and you're not going to want the seam to show. So now what you're going to want to do is just do a simple slip stitch all the way down, um, lining up all the stitches to close the beanie off.
Now we're just going to cut a yarn and then tie these two strands with the other two strands that we have from the beginning of the beanie. So now we are going to close the top of our beanie. You're going to want to cut a strand of yarn roughly 24 inches. You can go ahead and cut two strands, that way it's a little more durable. So when we're cinching the top, go ahead and fold your beanie to where the seam is in the middle. We're going to want to cinch around the top just by weaving in and out the two strands of yarn and then we are going to pull them together and tie them in a knot.
So now we are going to use the strand from the previous step and we are going to just make a few little attachments from the brim of the beanie to the base just so that we keep our fold in place. And when doing this, just make sure that your seam is on the middle back of the beanie because that's when the beanie looks best. You don't want the seam to be anywhere on the front or even uneven in the back because it just won't look cute if it's off-centered.
So now we are all finished with our beanie and I hope you guys really enjoyed this pattern and I hope you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video which will be day 6 of my 25 days of Christmas.